Hi Scorpio. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at is what is... Let me start again, Scorpio. We are going to look at what is going on for you at the moment. Okay, your current energy. And we're also going to find ways that are going to help you through this time. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like there's this real heaviness about you right now, Scorpio. So let's see if we can assist with making that um, burden, I suppose, is what it feels like. A bit lighter, like my heart actually feels quite heavy. So there's clearly something going on for you. So let's get into it. So we're using the Cosmic Reading Cards, okay, and the Osho Zen Tarot. So um, I've cleared all these cards and pulled some of the Cosmic Reading Cards for you so that we can save some time and actually get into the messages. <laughs> okay, so first off, we have a new chapter here for you, Scorpio. Um... This is, sorry, let me just hold it so I don't like end up going like that for you. Um, Scorpio, this feels like there's obviously this new chapter which is, is looming, I feel. Or it's, or it's kind of happening within you in a sense. Like you can feel these changes happening within you, right? And um, it, it, it's as though... There's this fear inside of you. It's like you're scared of the change, of this internal change happening. And it could very well be that whatever change is going on inside of you is actually causing things externally to change, which you are not comfortable with, right? And I want to say that it is... It's about the unknown, right? It's always scary when things, you know, the future is unknown. Yeah, or what, what changes are occurring, you're not sure what the outcome is going to be, right? But this is something that your soul desires. This is something that your soul knows is going to be good for you. So it's almost as though, Scorpio, you just kind of need to trust that... It's the best thing for you and go with it, okay? So let's have a look to see if there's any other information for you about the new chapter here. Scorpio, new chapter. See how long it can take for the cards to come out. That's why I <laughs> pre-shuffle some of them. Slowing down. Okay, so... I feel like for you, Scorpio, this is, even though it says slowing down, I feel like this is about you coming out of your shell, in a sense, because, you know, it, and, and the thing is that whatever change is going on, you don't have to rush it. You don't have to get from A to Z immediately. There's all these steps in between, and I want to say that, each step, Scorpio, be aware of it, be conscious of it, learn what you need to learn from it, okay? Um, because it really is as though you want to, um, you know, you don't want to go through the process of this change, you just want the change to happen, but it's important for you to go through the process of the change, okay? Inner voice, listening to that inner voice, knowing, trusting your inner voice, yeah, because, and that is your soul speaking to you, because I really feel like deep, deep down, you can feel like this is necessary, but it's it's scary, and that's understandable, right? The next card here is choices. Okay, so it really is like you are at this crossroads right now, okay, and it's, it's kind of like decision time, I guess, um, and it's important again, to really um, honour your soul, okay? Because your soul longs to grow. It, it's necessary for you to reach a higher consciousness, right? Um, and you're, it's like 
there's this battle between your heart and your mind right now, okay? Um, so it's like your heart knows what it wants, what it desires. Your soul knows what it wants and desires. And your mind is there to assist you to make that happen, okay? So it's kind of like, I suppose, rather than letting the mind and the heart battle and deciding what do I choose, allow them to work in conjunction with each other, okay? Um, that is quite important for you, Scorpio, because at the moment it feels like there's this big ruling of your, your mind is overtaking this inner voice, okay, that needs to be heard and it needs to be listened to. Um, it, it, also, there's like external influences that are pulling you, okay, and it really is time for change, yeah, so, and, and look, closing doors isn't, isn't easy, right, it's not easy, but there are times, Scorpio, when it's actually necessary for you to do that, right, because it feels like you've been held back, and, and I think deep down inside you know that, but again, stepping to the unknown is scary and it's like you don't really want to want to take that leap. Awareness, awareness of what is going on inside of you. You see how this person here is peeking out and I feel like that's you and this shadow around here is going, no! <laughs> um, and, and that really is what it feels like. And, and you, you know, there is part of you that does desire this and there's a another part of you that is rebelling against it okay schizophrenia yeah see it's kind of like that um in two minds sort of thing okay hanging hanging in the balance i suppose right um but also what's happening is this hanging in the balance here scorpios you can see this person is hanging between these two platforms right and not giving yourself the opportunity to fly, okay? Because you're above the clouds here, yeah? You can fly, but instead you're hanging, okay? And I know that change also can be make you feel very vulnerable, and I understand that. It's about having faith in yourself that you have the ability to do this, okay? The next card we have here is Sacred Journey, and this is your sacred journey that you are on, no one else's but yours, and it's incredibly important to remember that, especially when there's external forces who um, or people around you who are telling you what is best for you. You know what's best for you, right? Okay, so um, I feel like this is also about getting into this mind space and um, because, because your thoughts are ruling you right now, okay, your beliefs, it's, it's like you need to kind of quieten those down in a sense, okay, to really go within and listen to this internal voice, okay, and not to the mind because the mind is the ego, yeah, the ego is ruling you right now. Where it is, it, it's this inner voice here that you really want to be leading the way. Okay, this is super important for you and I really feel like this will absolutely help you on this sacred journey that you're on, which is your entire life, realistically. Okay, um, and you know, because this helps us, it, it helps our heart to grow, right, it, it it gets us back to our heart, I suppose, it's, you know, it's also like looking at, if there's something inside of you, Scorpio, that I feel like you're afraid of, I feel like you kind of like, you know, and this has come up in a lot of the readings, it's, a fear of the shadow self right not not embracing all parts of ourselves and um being afraid that if you move forward or go in a different direction that you the things that you don't like about yourself are going to be revealed okay um but these are also parts of ourselves that we need to embrace in order to fully accept our 
ourselves and love ourselves, okay? And I feel like you want to keep parts of yourself down. Um, there's people around you who don't um, lift you up and they want to keep you in a bit of a closet, I suppose. And you also, there are parts of yourself that you keep in a closet and you don't want to be seen by not only anyone else, but by yourself as well. There's things that you're ashamed of, things that you're embarrassed about. And, um, whoops, a daisy, that's far too many. I've got one here, but let me just get another one while I'm yakking on. Um, there are things that you don't accept about yourself, okay? Um, totality. You see, I feel like throughout your journey so far, it's as though you've, like these acrobats, right? They swing back and forth, back and forth, and they get higher and higher until some, you know, they can reach each other's hands, right? And it, it seems as though for you, Scorpio, you feel like all you're doing is swinging back and forth and you're not actually able to get higher, right? A little bit like this in limbo, yeah? Um, but the thing is, it's it's like you're almost there, okay? And it's it's really looking at the progress that you have made, okay? Because this is what this card is about, that you have made a lot of progress. So looking at where you came from and where you are now to start celebrating your progress, okay? Because you have made progress. It's just that things are not looking the way you, exactly the way you want them to look right now, okay? Um, the next one here, we have is integrity. Okay, so this really is, again, about breaking these habits of thought. Okay, any habits that aren't serving you as well. Okay, any thoughts that aren't serving you. Catching those in your mind and changing those. Because these are from the ego. Okay, the ego does not serve you in the way that you need to be served. The ego is there to keep you alive that's its job it thinks it's doing the right thing but it's actually inhibiting you okay all these times that you were criticizing yourself or thinking oh no don't do that who do you think you are and blah 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 blah. that's your ego at play that is not your heart okay that is not your inner voice that is not the truth of who you really are inside okay so this here this shadow here it's like your ego going, Ooh. <laughs> no, you're not coming out to play. Stay in there. Be quiet. Let me rule, right? So this is super important for you to start realizing the aspects of your life where you're actually doing this to yourself, okay? And um, oh, there was something else I was going to say. Um, what was it? Oh, yes, about um, mistakes, okay, that you may have made in the past, not holding on to those, not berating yourself about those, okay, forgiving yourself, accepting that you were learning, and had you been given the chance, you would have done things differently, right? Had you have known, you know, you would have done things differently, okay, Scorpio, so this is really important, because again, that's the ego at play, pulling you down, dimming your light, pretty much is what it's doing, right? Um, and so I feel like it's really important for you to forgive yourself for things, okay? Um, and, and in a sense, that is then living in, in, in the space of having integrity to yourself, yeah? Living your truth. Being who you truly are, rather than listening to every other Tom, Dick and Harry about who you should be or what you should be doing, yeah? Um, and learning from those mistakes, because that's the best thing we can do. Everyone makes mistakes, but it's what you do with the mistake that counts, okay? Existence. Bringing your awareness into the fact that you are the universe and the universe is part of you, okay? Understanding who you truly are. 
um, the essence of your soul. And I feel like this is really what your soul is calling out to you to do. To say, hey, you're not just this human being here. You know, consciousness. Oh, I love this, Scorpio. You are so much more than what you could ever dream. Okay, this really is about not just speaking your truth, but living your truth, going within, quietening this down and living within, transforming, okay, transforming your entire existence, I feel, and this is what your heart and your soul has been calling for, and it may just be that you didn't really know what it was, right? And, and this is not easy, right? It's not easy to transform. You know, it challenges your beliefs and your thought system, right? It, it's like... It's, but you've been asking for this. Yeah, this is what you've been asking for. You've been asking for a change. You've been asking for something different. You know, you, you've been wishing for things to change. And, and this is it, Scorpio. Things are changing. And yeah, it's uncomfortable. Change often is, right? When we go through something that causes us a big change and growth happens, it's generally not comfortable. Okay, because when it's comfortable, we're not really learning anything and therefore we're not growing. Okay, so this is very important for you to start to do this internal work here and come within and and allow this transformation to happen a bit like the butterfly and the oh there's two cards there uh, the butterfly and the cocoon right transforming turning into this mush pretty much and I feel like you're in this this mush for a lot of you that's the case participation bringing all aspects of yourself into the center here yeah, um, celebrating the fact that you not only have this light, but you also have this darkness because this darkness is something that you're afraid of. Yeah, and we have integration because here's the yin and yang symbol again, bringing everything together, all elements. To me, these cards are totally the same in a sense. This is a whole new cycle for you. This is not just... A new chapter it's a whole new cycle and this is where it's this is why I feel it's so uncomfortable it's really like a snake shedding its skin and there are people around you who are not okay with that okay um, we have let go here um, and this here is about this need for control because it's so uncomfortable right you feel like you want to control the whole situation and the fact of the matter is Scorpio that you're not doing yourself any favors by doing that or anyone else if you're trying to control other people because they've got their own growth to do okay um and this actually feels like because I can see this looks to me like a silhouette of a person which I've never really seen before but I feel like this is your mind here and um and, and it really is about bringing out these things that you've buried deep within because this is the cause of this um, this kind of like restriction of being able to let go, I feel. Bringing that up and out into the light, um, I feel as though these things are buried deep, deep, deep because you were so much, um, very much like, I am never letting that out again, not letting that cat out of the bag, right? And um, and I feel like, Scorpio, you really um, are doing yourself no favours um, by doing that. You're... These thoughts are absolutely controlling you, actually. And, you know, it's easier said than done just to go, oh, let go. You know, it's not that easy. It does take work. You know, it's not just like, you know, because if it was that easy, we'd all do it, right? You probably would have done it by now. Um, I think, too, this 
the, the fact that this whole new cycle is coming in for you is um is so scary and the unknown is so scary that you're trying to hold on to something to feel like you have control or to feel like um you have this grounding this in in but what it is an actual actual fact happening is you're holding yourself back by allowing yourself to grow with this new chapter because it's going to happen anyway no matter how much you try to control it it's going to happen anyway being receptive to the change right a hundred percent because when you're not respect receptive you don't get this chance to grow and blossom and bloom yeah and so this is super important for you because here is this flower heading up to the light again just like in this letting go card yeah heading up to the light yeah you know letting go is a very um, mental process it's a spiritual process physical you know, it's it's like there's there's a lot involved in this process of letting go, yeah, and and it certainly is something that is um, it, it it does require quite a lot of work, and so you have it in you to do this work, and you know what, you listen to this inner voice. Scorpio and it will tell you exactly what you need to do because right now you'll be like well, what am I meant to do how am I meant to do that okay your inner voice will guide you this is your guidance system okay and this is where it's so important for you to tap into that okay to tap into the consciousness of who you truly are realizing that you are a part of all that exists and all that exists is part of of you okay politics <sighs> looking too much to the past looking too much to the past and what was what could have been what you left behind it's very important for you to bring yourself into the here and now into the present okay because this is what where it matters the past past you cannot do anything about that even if you made mistakes okay looking at those how do they make you feel? Are you ashamed? Are you embarrassed? What is going on for you? Because at the moment, there's this happy face being put on for the world, but behind it is this, this snake, which is, I feel, this shadow part of yourself, because this has come up now three times in the cards here, the shadow, okay? So this is very important for you. We next have unconditional love. So this is giving you a clue as to how you can actually achieve this for yourself, okay? Because with unconditional love, there are no conditions whatsoever, okay? There are no restrictions, judgments, no expectations or demands, okay? This comes from, you know, like when we're doing that, when we're loving conditionally that is coming from a place of limiting beliefs and generally that stems from childhood so i want to say with this scorpio is to get in touch with that inner child and start loving that inner child right that child who once was stifled and held back whether that had been from other people or from your own decision making as a kid, that if I didn't don't do this, then I'll be loved or accepted or worth it. The thing is that we really need to do this for ourselves, okay? I don't know why I did love like that there. I think because if you felt like, sometimes I feel like you feel like love isn't real. Because it's not really... I don't think you've experienced it within yourself. You think you have, but it's actually been to in toxic situations. <sighs> yeah, that, that feels pretty heavy. Um, this is, 
you know, it's also a matter of having um, compassion for yourself and for others. Okay, understanding where people are coming from, understanding where you're coming from and realising that often things are happening because of that um, wounded child. Okay, but that is not to say, Scorpio, that you stay in a situation that is bad for you. Okay, because look here, this is very much like this card here to me. Um, there's this thing of keeping yourself in this box, okay? It's like being in a relationship where someone keeps you in a box, but you go, oh, they're only doing that because they love me, or they're only doing that because, you know, they had um, a, a, a problem in their childhood, or, you know, but it's okay because, you know, they really do love me, and, and we really are made for each other, and we're soulmates, and, and, you know, it's all good, it's all good, it's not. And it really is time to get honest with yourself about that. Okay, this, this being put in this box, whether it's from someone else or from yourself, no matter how much you bling it up, it's not okay. And it's not serving you because you can't actually move forward because you can't see where you're going. You're blinded. Okay, so it really is time to take the blinker, blinders off and take the blindfold off. <laughs> get the right word. And let yourself see the truth for what it is. And, and it might not be pretty, but it's necessary. Because this is about bringing the shadow to the light. Okay, because the only way for the shadows and the darkness to dissolve is for light to be shone upon them. Bringing up the sorrow. Okay, because this is holding you down. This is holding you back. Your sorrow is deep within and you won't let it up. And it's important for you to let it out, Scorpio. Um, bringing it up and feeling it, giving it a voice, letting it have a say instead of ignoring it. Because the more you ignore it, the more it's going to come. Okay? And this is really what this card is about. Um, this is about these limiting beliefs, yeah? Society's expectations, you know, you yeah sorry i'm trying to say everything at once here this you were born to fly where is that you were born to fly right dance your own dance right sing your own song be the limitless being you were born to be because at the moment you're stuck in here in this state and it's not serving you. It's not serving you. It might be serving other people, but it's not serving you. There are people around you who want to see you fly, who want to see you grow, who want to see you dance, who want to see you sing. Do you? I know you do. And it is scary. And you just have to have faith. Take that leap of faith for yourself, Scorpio, because you're worth it. You are a magnificent, incredible soul. And you deserve this to live life in a limitless way. Okay, and I feel like the, a lot of the limits that are being put on you are from within your own mind, from your own ego. It's time to let your ego know that thank you. If there's anything, you know, that like a life and death situation that it needs to serve you for, 100%. Pop on in. Have a cup of tea then. But otherwise, you're not welcome here. Don't invite the ego in for a cup of tea any longer, okay? Because, nah, <clears throat> it's not helping you. Silence. Go into the silence. <clears throat> Excuse me, Scorpio. And let your heart speak. Going into the silence will allow you to hear your heart. Will allow your mind to calm. And it takes practice, like everything. Okay, too many cards. But this is very important for you 
it will allow that inner voice to speak. It will also allow your inner child to be heard and seen into the nothingness, Scorpio, into the nothingness. Okay, sometimes darkness is actually very good. In fact, it always is. There's nothing wrong with the darkness. It's when we fear it that there's something wrong with it. We give it power to keep knocking on the door, knocking on the door. The more we ignore it, the more it knocks on the door. The more we ignore it, the more we attract it. Yeah? Okay, moving forward. Or move forward, sorry, it says. <laughs> so this is really not focusing on the past, okay? It is about being in this moment, Scorpio. Like, it's like you're locked in this repetitive pattern. Yeah, you are, which which I can kind of see here, and it's lingering, It's it's come from, you know, when you were back here, and it's just, it's dragging along, and it's really, really is just keeping you in this, in this box, and again, you can make it look pretty, but it's not pretty, you know, and um, it's so important for you to move forward, and we're talking on a mental level here, right, not stepping forward physically, it's mentally, and so, it, and that feels heavy, it, it, you know, all you can, what you can do here, Scorpio, is breathe, breathe into the silence, into the nothingness, yeah? Just go into the space of existence, which is who you truly are, okay? Bring your consciousness forth. Wow, this is so powerful, Scorpio. I, I want to pick you up and put you in that space so that you can experience this. This is your journey, yeah? This is for you to experience. You can have a look on YouTube, for meditations, which is really a great way to experience that, okay, if you've ever found yourself daydreaming, that's a way of being in that nothingness, yeah, celebration, when you actually do this Scorpio, because this is what is at the end, right, when you move forward, there will be a celebration, and this is what you are aiming for, yeah, because this is the end result, celebration okay and um and and like i said at the beginning it's like you want to go from the new chapter from the beginning to here but you actually need to go through all this learning process in order to get to here so it lasts so it's long lasting so if in the future and when you know because we all go through new cycles all the time our lives are evolving. We are souls that evolve. That's just the part of part and parcel of being a soul, right? So the next time you're going to know, you're going to have these skills to apply to make it a whole lot easier for you. And wow, what a lesson to learn. Transformation again. You see, you will then be rising from the ashes. You will have all the tools that you need and you will rise from the ashes. So it's time to get moving, Scorpio. Man, I'm so excited because at the beginning it felt so heavy and I felt like I just wanted to love you. And I am sending you heaps of love, Scorpio. Um, so yeah, if you can get in there and do the groundwork, Scorpio, you are going to be able to fly. And that is truly what your soul wants and deserves. Okay, Scorpio. Please, I'm going to ask you, Scorpio, for an exchange of energy to subscribe to this channel, share it, like, and let's help other people to heal as well, because that's what the whole point of this channel is. Okay, Scorpio, take care of your lovely selves, sending you heaps and heaps of love. See you. Bye-bye.